As you've seen us report on the spread of the Zika virus, you've seen a lot of pictures like this one. What's in the fog that has sparked the imagination of a team of doctors at UNM? Tonight, Matt Grubbs is on special assignment with how they may have found a safe way to slow the spread of Zika. The 80s mosquito, carrier of Zika virus, is uniquely equipped to spread the disease. They're a little bit like uh, very flirtatious people at a party. They'll go from person to person till they get their fill. The flirty mosquito is tricky to stop, too, because it's out when we're out. So these guys, they like to come out during the day. Whether there or here, efforts to kill the mosquito rely on chemicals pumped into the air and the water. The rationale being that if you use a low enough concentration, it probably doesn't harm people. But really, it's pesticide, and it's in the water supply, and this is the water that people drink. At the University of New Mexico's Health Sciences Center, medical researchers are looking at things differently. So really, our focus is to try to find things that are natural, um, non-toxic, and cheap. Something cheap and simple enough to be applied in very poor countries. Adult mosquitoes don't fly far, maybe half a mile, but the team is focused on a much easier target, young mosquito larvae. Because it's actually fairly contained. It's in water. So if you go to a city, you find the tires, you find the puddles. And young mosquitoes or young people, there is a universal truth at play. When it needs to eat a lot to grow fast, so anybody with a teenager knows that it takes a lot of food to put on body mass. The UNM researchers feed the larvae tiny sugary particles of yeast. They're irresistible. And they'll eat it in preference to almost anything else. But instead of nutrients inside that sugary treat, the researchers fill it with lemongrass oil. The mosquito larva doesn't have a clue though, and as soon as it gobbles up the yummy yeast particle, it dissolves. When they break it down, out comes the essential oil and kills the larvae. Unscientifically speaking, it's crazy effective. Very, very compelling results. 100% uh, mortality in every case for these mosquitoes. It, it works. It's 100% natural, too. Safe for humans. That's when we can count them out. But toxic in every way imaginable to mosquito larvae. By comparison, chemical pesticides kill using only a single pathway, something like the nervous system. It's very difficult for the larvae to develop resistance to so many different pathways. UNM's next step is to make its tests more realistic. Probably be throwing in um, leaves and other dirt particles into these simulated environments. The whole thing's on track to be patented, and the university's tech transfer team is now searching for a partner to fund real-world testing. If it works as well as they think it could, the party could start winding down for the 80s mosquito. Matt Grubbs, KRQE News 13. Lemongrass grows in abundance in the tropics. As a lot of you know, it's a very popular ingredient in Thai and Vietnamese food.